Hey guys, welcome back. So I had questions on if I how I like my tracks and if I've ever had any problems with my tracks. Well, thing is, being a 64, the braces that come with the 64, this is the plate that goes underneath and it goes all the way here. So bending an A-arm with these plates here is practically impossible. Like this is a 3 8 steel and it's like it's everywhere and it's bolt like a brace here, a brace here, and then you're hooked on there and it's a solid right across. And if you look at the arms in the front that link to the bar, you got this much play for the compression. So basically to bend this, you'd have to bend this whole system and everything. So that issue in the front is not a problem. When I first got this, like I've had these tracks since what uh, we bought the bike in uh, June of 2019 before COVID and we had the tracks in October before the winter before COVID so those the Christmas time there. and we used to take these like we lived about 30 some K which is about 18 miles from our nearest city and there's snowmobile trails and uh, we used to take this thing and maximum speed is 80 kilometers an hour well it used to be before I did the tune on the trails so basically we drive this thing full pin 80 kilometers an hour for 32k all the way into town and go eat at the restaurant and everything and come back and then drive it again and in the first year the only thing that i had happen was one of these covers popped out they told me that this these aren't serviceable that's what the guy told me and the bearing blew inside popped this out and everything and what that did was made the, the track go like this where uh, the sprocket go like this and the track really kind of went over inside i'm glad i had a ratchet and i just twisted my 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 track around the uh the a arms here and the spring and put a ratchet strap and i used basically the slides because we were in a trail right we i used the slides as a ski and put it in two wheel drive and just drove it away so if you can take the track off you use your your fronts as skis and that's what i did to get out and then the other only other thing that ever happened to me was Jumping snowbanks, uh, the, the back, the, as you see the back uh, strut that holds it in place. Actually, this one here has got a slight little warp in it. That's because I put it on the press and re-straightened it out. That's the only thing that's happened, I like, is of that long bar. Maybe if they put a chromoly shaft like they do in the, like, uh, maybe it would be better. But anyways, I straightened it back out, and that's the only thing that I've had. I've never had any, like, you check the tension on your tracks and whatever, and basically, as you can see, this has basically got an inch that sticks out on top of where the hole is in the middle. It's not like the other tracks which are on, you know, they're just rolling on rollers. This actually holds your track in there. And just make sure that you can't physically clear this by yanking on it and you're good to go so that's uh that's all basically i gotta say they're awesome in the snow like two inch like you can't compare it the flotation the width the only thing when you buy them on when you got factory arms here in the back that you can't adjust i find that from factory the tracks in the back sit a little bit like this and what that does is it makes the slide inside pre-wear to use. That's why I added a set of wheels, idler wheels right here. And I'm probably gonna put another set back here. But now I'm able to adjust the tracks here at the top and then straighten them out. So they sit on both slides properly. So that's the only, that was the only thing to watch that. And when I, once my slides are finished, I'm gonna put the, the ones with the Teflon. So we'll do that and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go play with this thing. We'll show you, just to give you an idea of what you can climb, how we'll try to, we'll try to get into buying a little bit. Well, not extremely, but we're just gonna go have fun with them. So we'll show you that. That's basically my review on them and I'll, no, I'll just, we'll go have fun with them. So, all right, let's go for a ride. Hey guys. So yeah, so we were gonna go have fun and everything. And I was going down the trail and there was a big whoop and a big hole on the one side. And you guys ask if uh, there's ever see any problems with that. Like I was telling you that I had been that one previously. Well, look what it did. Yeah, so I got a nice, nice bend. 
for right here, as you can see. So it bent, and it bent like this as well. So now I gotta take this thing out and put it in the vise. So unbolt this one, unbolt underneath here, and then uh, put it in the vise, straighten it back out, and uh, be good again. Because it's steel, right? So it's like a, if it flexes like that and doesn't stop and doesn't stretch, you can put it in the vise and re-straighten it out to 98% accuracy being straight, but it doesn't really matter. So that's, uh, yeah, so what I see the most off these is those long arms in the back. If you're gonna beat it and go full pin and then you hit yourself a hole and a whoop and a whatever and one track hits and then bottoms out, well, you bend the ends. So that's, take it easy over bumps and big soft powder, you're okay. Hard pack, playing in the trails and everything and you hit a big whoop, well, you might end up with a bent thing. So I guess I'll have to fix that before we go for the ride. And also another thing, <laughs> I'm draining out my clutches. I've been going out to test run, test play and everything. I'm draining out my plug there. It's, uh, yeah, she was wet in there. And I hit a big bump or whatever and the water like, so if you're playing in the snow and it's always going back in the garage to melt every night, condensing, con con condensation from the snow and whatever and everything coming in through whatever and humidity build up, <coughs> builds up water at the bottom of your clutch cover and your clutch enclosure. So if you hit a big whoop like I just did and the machine jumps up and whatever, well, it splashes on the belt and the belt uh, spun. And that was the main reason we turned around and we noticed only that when we got back in that it was bent. So yeah, so winter time playing with these Open your drain, drain off your clutch, let the thing run in neutral so it heats up and it can evacuate and drain it out. You know, that's always a good thing. And uh, be careful on uh, whoops and uh, ditches and all that kind of stuff when you hit hard pack, that uh, when you, the bottom end hits and it throws you, kicks you like a, a horse is trying to buck you off there. Chances are you bent the bar in the back, anyways, so it's happened to me twice. And uh, that's about it, so. That's my opinion and oversee after three years or three and a half years or whatever, three winters, because summer, you know, we don't play with these. So basically what it's after that many, how much time, it's not even a full year of playing with it. So yeah, so that's, that's what it is. Uh, these tracks are awesome, but they are prone to, these are, this is what you can expect. So besides that, got no, no complaints about them. They climb like crazy. They throw a lot of snow like crazy. And uh, yeah, so I see a lot of people are putting those fenders in the front. Why are they throwing snow at me? People throw, put the fenders on there now. I've seen that on Oster Cruiser and all that. And uh, Castle, uh, there they make them or whatever. So that's maybe something in the future to put on there. But uh, besides that, I'll stop uh, yapping away and uh, tell you guys thanks for watching. And I hope this helps make a decision to buy these tracks. You see right offhand what can happen to these tracks and they're not invisible. And that is what it is. And like I said, uh, the bearing let go in one, but uh, was the first year. And they tell me they're not serviceable. I'm, I'm kind of skeptical that you can't pop off the cover and jam pack that full of freaking grease. I don't know. So it's, if it's a sealed bearing, once it goes, I guess it goes. We'll, we'll see at that point, but uh, we'll catch you on the next one. And uh, sorry, I couldn't show you guys right now because I got to take that thing off and I don't feel like getting dripped on. So. I'm going to wait till it, everything's dried off to pull that arm off and re-straighten it. And uh, we'll go from there. So uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for the new subscribers subscribing. You guys are awesome. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See you soon. Bye for now.